Ever wondered how a narcissist reacts when they can't manipulate you? Well, you're about to find out. Narcissism, a term that's increasingly common in our lexicon, is more than just an inflated ego. It's a serious personality disorder marked by an excessive need for admiration, disregard for others' feelings, an inability to handle any criticism, and a sense of entitlement. Understanding the complex dynamics of narcissism is vital in navigating relationships. So let's delve into the various reactions of a narcissist when they can't manipulate you. Firstly, when a narcissist can't manipulate you, they might respond with frustration and anger. You see, narcissists rely heavily on manipulation as a means to control others and maintain their inflated self-image. It's like their secret weapon. But what happens when this weapon fails? Well, when they meet resistance, they may become frustrated, their anger escalating, sometimes even into aggression. Imagine a child not getting their way and throwing a tantrum. It's a similar reaction, but with an adult's vocabulary and resources. They might resort to personal attacks, hurling insults your way, or they might try to guilt or shame you into submission, twisting the narrative to make you the villain. But remember, this is a reflection of their inability to control, not a reflection of your worth. It's their frustration speaking, not their truth. So if a narcissist can't control you, don't be surprised if they lash out. A scene script. Let's move on to the next reactions. Devaluation, triangulation, and hoovering. When a narcissist's initial attempts at manipulation are unsuccessful, they may resort to devaluation. This involves belittling or undermining you to regain a sense of control and superiority. They might call you names, spread rumors about you, or make you feel as if you're insignificant. They'll attempt to make you feel less than, to reassert their own self-importance. Remember, this is about them and their need for control, not you. Next, we have triangulation. This is a strategic move to bring others into the mix to validate their perspective and isolate you. They may spread lies about you to friends, family, or colleagues, trying to turn them against you. By playing people off against each other, they can maintain the illusion of being the misunderstood victim while subtly controlling the narrative. And finally, if devaluation and triangulation don't work, they may resort to hoovering. This is their attempt to suck you back into their world. They may suddenly become charming and apologetic, making grand promises they have no intention of keeping. They'll put on a show of remorse and feigned understanding, all to re-establish a connection with you. But beware, this is often a temporary change of heart, simply another manipulation tactic in their arsenal. These tactics, devaluation, triangulation, and hoovering, are all about control. Control over you, the situation, and the perceptions of others. They're the narcissist's last-ditch attempts to manipulate when their usual tactics have failed. So, how can you counter these tactics? Stay firm in your boundaries. Don't get drawn into their drama. Remember, their behavior is about them and their need for control, not about you. Don't take their actions personally. And most importantly, seek support. Remember, you're not alone in this. Be wary of these tactics and remember, they're not about you, they're about the narcissist's need for control. Finally, let's discuss how some narcissists might withdraw and how you can deal with these situations. When the narcissist's manipulation tactics fail, they may resort to withdrawal. This involves avoiding contact or becoming emotionally distant. It's their way of regaining control and protecting their inflated ego from further damage. But remember, their withdrawal is not your fault. It's merely a reflection of their inability to engage in healthy relational dynamics. Now, dealing with a withdrawing narcissist can be challenging, but there are ways to maintain your well-being in these situations. 1. Stay calm and assertive. Resist the temptation to chase after them or get drawn into their drama. 2. Set firm boundaries. Make it clear what you will and will not tolerate. This can be a powerful deterrent to further manipulation. 3. Avoid engaging in arguments. Narcissists thrive on conflict, but you don't have to play their game. If they try to bait you, simply walk away. 4. Don't take their behavior personally. The narcissist's actions reflect their own insecurities, not your worth. Lastly, seek support. It can be incredibly helpful to speak with a trusted friend, family member, or therapist about what you're going through. You're not alone in this, and there's strength in numbers. Remember, you have the power to set boundaries and protect yourself from manipulation. After all, your mental health and peace of mind are worth fighting for. So there you have it, the various reactions of narcissists when they can't manipulate you. From frustration and anger to devaluation, triangulation, hoovering, and even withdrawal. 
Stay strong, assertive, and remember, their behavior is about them, not you. Thanks for watching.